Hello, good morning. Today I have come to the world's biggest Primark. <gasps> there it is. I can confirm it is massive going in. Let's have a quick little look on the outside. There we go. Looks kind of funky. It is absolutely huge. This could be my longest video ever. Let's get inside. I can already see a lot of neon going on in there. Bit of summer neon dressing. Let's have a quick look at the store guide. So I am not going to go to men's, probably have a look at the cafe, definitely women's obviously, the two floors, and I probably won't go to kids, but hey I'm not with the kids, I'm not interested in that, and homeware wherever that is. So let's start on this floor. It's 10 on a Monday morning and I've never been in a Primark that is as busy as this one. Seriously, it's absolutely heaving on a Monday morning. It's crazy. I actually don't know where to begin because it's so big. So what I think I'm going to do is show you like the key kind of trend items, whatever they call it, like key items, show you around. Let's just see how much I can get done. I'm a bit overwhelmed to be honest. So if you come in and you go to the right, like in and to the right, that is where all the bikinis are. Bikinis, cozies, all of the beach stuff. So from here, all the way around there, all the way down there. So that's all beachwear. I still haven't got my holiday booked yet, so I'm not actually shopping for bikinis, but let's have a quick pan around and see what there is. Loads of neon stuff. Bright summer neon. Whoa, this is some sort of beach spangly thing. I don't know what it is, but I want it. £12. <gasps> yes, I'm not getting it. I'd love to. I think this is like their party beach kind of festival stuff with that mega sequiny top. And that's what's, as you can see in the store coming in, that's all like the brights and sequins. So there's a lot of that in the swimwear. This is quite nice. I quite like the colour of this and the wide straps on that one. Four for the top, I think it's four for the bottom as well. Nice. I like the stripes and the tie up bit. This is, that's £12. Nice little beachy cover up. I love the colours of this. That's £8. Right, so as you come in and go to the left, this is the kind of trending now section. So let's have a look around here because this is where I'm going to find stuff that I don't normally find in my local Primark, like this. A big shiny jacket, I mean why wouldn't you want that? So as I said, there's loads of neon. There's like a mega neon um, roll necky top. You'll see you come in in that. Lots of sequins. Neon accessories. Tie-dye. And then even more neon here. So you've got your neon sunnies and belts. I have to be honest, I'm not really a neon fan. I don't think I can quite pull it off, but if you want some brights and some neon stuff, in the trending now section, there's pops of it everywhere. So there's this little sheer love top. Not for me, but it would look nice on someone, but not me, but I thought I'd show you it anyway. I like the roughly bit at the bottom. That one is six pounds. Cycle shorts. They're not my kind of thing, but I haven't seen these in any other Primark. They may well be filtering in, but hey, there you go. If you, if you like that kind of cycle short trend, that's eight pounds. Next is this faux suede jacket and it has tassels. Oh yeah, you want to be a cowgirl. So there's more kind of like festively stuff. This is 25 pounds. It's actually really nice and soft, really thin. So a good one for spring summer just as a cover up. So next is this off-white denim skirt. I really like this because it's got like the brown stitching on it and it has the brown buckle there as well. Yeah, really like that. It's quite one of those lighter weight denims. That one's how much? Eight pounds? No, it's 12 pounds that one. Oh, more cycle shorts, shall I? Look, look how thin they are. They're gonna look glorious on me. Five pounds. I really, really like this bag. Now, this is a takeoff of one of the designer ones from last year. Can't remember who, but I mean, this is going to be budget by compared. Let's see how much. Twenty pounds. That's actually quite a lot for Primark. Focus. Yeah, twenty pounds. But compared to other wooden ones that you can get, I guess that's more of a budget-friendly buy. Oh, I quite like this one as well. A clear bag. It has the inner bag as well, so you can hide your stuff. And then with the wooden handles. Yeah, liking that one. That's ten pounds. You know what, I think I actually quite like these. If they were nude, I would be absolutely loving them. I think the heel's pretty too high for me as well, but I do really like these. They're like, the, is it the Sergio Rossi ones? 
Yeah. So again, if you're into neon, these are going to be perfect. You just have a little pop of neon. That's £14. That's the little section there of trending now. Then you go around here and there's like a mega short section. Lots and lots of shorts. Quite like these linen paper bag styles. So there's a white, a yellow, and then like a pink as well. And then these ones are slightly different, I think. No, they are the same. Like more of a darker tan. They're all six pounds. Then there's a polka dot, a stripe, and a check. I think these are all eight pounds. I quite like those. I quite like these ones with the buttons. And then these ones are more of the paper bag waist style again. So the pink and then the black. Then there's plain white, plain black, with the button and the tie, so they're quite nice. I think they are gonna be very versatile. I really like this style of shorts. And then we have a couple of stripy ones. They're a bit different. So I think they're quite high-waisted, like a denim material with the white stitching and buckle. Really like that one. That's 15 pounds. I mean, you can't really go wrong with a bit of leopard, can you? And leopard print shorts for four pounds, bargain. I've spotted these on the model, I really like these, they're kind of like a clotty, denim-y, jean thing with big pockets, I'm going to have to go to the denim section and find those. But I've come away from the neon and I've found a wall of pastel, I think this is my kind of colour. I actually really like this skirt here, I've been after a knee-length denim skirt, I don't know if I'd pick that kind of wash but I'm going to try it, I'll have to find it and try it because I do really like that quick pan of the wall we have pink shorts love them they're like a denim short little vesty top with some lips and i like this a t-shirt with a little knotty bit there and then hands of a like this going hearts yeah it's cute pink denim play suit Ooh, check out the pink of those it actually looks quite purple on the camera but it's very much like kind of bubblegum i suppose it is a bit purpley there they are 13 pounds and I like the raw hem. I think they might be the same fit as the ones that I have in like a burnt -y kind of colour. Aha, uh -huh. now this is what I saw on the model. A wide leg crop. These are 15 pounds and they're kind of like an off-white. Right, there's that skirt. It's way too high and I can't reach it. I have to get a man to get it down. So there is the kind of that kind of weird washy one. And then up there is a lighter denim one. Yes, I like both of those. The middle section is all like boring tops, like best tops and stuff, so I won't bother showing you through that. And then there is sportswear over there, so the kind of middle section is a bit more like boring. I ain't gonna look at that. I can look at that in my normal Primark. So I'm gonna go to the denim section. There's a whole little section through that glass bit of denim. So I'm gonna go and have a look in there. So the first thing I find are white items, and then this one, it is a denim boiler suit. Okay, how do you feel about this? Kind of a bit lab suit-y with like extra thickness. I totally couldn't pull that off. But if you can, and you're looking for a white one, then there you go. It's in here, 20 pounds. So we've got more of the cycle shorts here. Just don't know if I can do it. There's a white and it's kind of like a lighter wash as well. There's that wide leg crop again, but in a different um, finish color even. And again, in this tan as well, I do really like these. I feel, I feel they will be too wide for me, but I'm gonna try them. What I like about this is they've got all of the cuts out on mannequins, so you can see the cuts. I've never had an experience like this before in Primark. So we've got Rip Skinny, Skinny, Skinny down the end. What's this? Vintage Rip Skinny. Yeah, I like this ankle brazier. Do you know what? I think Primark have really upped their game with denim. The last few pairs I've bought, I've been well happy with. Game of Thrones merch. 
I want to get this and watch it while wearing this and holding this. No, not Lannister. I'm not a Lannister. I'm a Stark. Totally a Stark. Not you go away, you. Oh no, this is it. This is the one. Mother of Dragons. I think it's meant to be a makeup bag, but I'm totally going to use that as a clutch. I'm going to sit and watch the telly holding this. That's five pounds. Four pounds for a little coin purse. I'm going to go to the beauty section now. Dun dun, it's big. Welcome to the biggest beauty section <laughs> of a Primark ever. Don't know where to begin. So, what I'm interested to see are these other brands. Lottie. Never heard of that before. Just don't know if I'm not cool or what, but there's that one. I think it's like, I don't know, quite glittery looking, isn't it? Wow, yeah, blimey. She's got a lot of glitter on. Golden Rose. Whatever that is. Carter Beauty. There. And then, what's this one? Mislin. I don't know, never heard of these before. Should I have? Oh, and then there's another one. Flormar. Okay. I've never seen so many fake nails in one place in my life. Yep. Ever. There's a whole wall of it. So there's a little section here with face wipes and mirrors so you can try out some of the stuff. So I have a little play around. I don't know who's been putting their finger in that, by the way. So, yeah, a bit worrying. But apart from that, if you don't mind. Now, in my Primark, they don't have any of her skin kit. Alex Steinman, her, Steiner, her, the one from Glamour. Yeah, so I might try some of this stuff. They've got everything here by the looks of it. Ooh, I like this. £2.50 for a little mirror on a little stand. That's cool. Hello. Hello. So they have this um, yeah. beauty bar called Duck and Dry Beauty Studio inside on the ground floor. So that looks quite interesting. I'm going to have a look at the menu, the menu, the listing, and see what they actually do. There you go. So if you're wondering what they do, do they do hair, do they do nails, they do lashes and threading. That's pretty impressive actually. And the prices are pretty good. I'm going in, I'm not having anything done, but I'm just filming. Sneaky, sneaky style. Oh, it looks well nice, doesn't it? Really swanky, I try not to get people in. There we go. Yeah, it looks quite nice. I actually really like the pink chairs. I'm on the steps of the beauty salon. Just do a quick pan so we can see how crazy busy it is in here, how big it is. Right, I'm going in. I'm going back in. Wish me luck. Going up, level two. Actually, no, level one. I always get confused about that. I'm on the next floor and the cafe's just there behind me, or one of them. I'm eyeing up the Disney cafe, I bet it'll be around there. So I think I need a break, you know? Oh, I've heard this. I hear, I've heard loads of people complaining. I've heard one person ask one of the um, Primark people, how do I get out? I can't get out. It's like that. I'm actually a bit lost right now. At least there's food in here, so if I'm here forever, I'm all right. Anyway, so on this floor, there are dresses, accessories, shoes, homeware, trousers, there's just loads of stuff. So I'm just going to wander around this floor and pick out things that I like the look of that I can't see in my normal Primark. Let's go and have a look at the cafe to see what there is. This is the Prime Market Cafe. Let's have a look at the prices, see if they are Primark prices. I guess they're not too bad. It's cheaper than a Costa anyway. 99p for a filter coffee, that's all right. I might have to get a cold drink though. I'm getting that Primark shakes. You know the sugar shakes of Primark when you can't cope? Next to that cafe, we have the Primarket Bits and Bobs section. All of those random Primark Bits and Bobs, electrical Bits and Bobs, come and get your Bits and Bobs here. Anyway, we're not interested in Bits and Bobs. Let's find the shoes. Shoes. Really like these, so there's the pink and the blue. Now, I tried on some like this, Valentino pair, pretty much exactly the same as this, for like a couple hundred quid. But these ones, are five pounds. Oh, and they're black as well. Let's do a quick pan along like this. This is the only way. This is the only way I can do this. 
getting everything in. I've not seen those before, they're quite nice. A sandal with the two straps and then a strap around the back. That is eight pounds. My finger's stuck. My finger's... Oh. oh. They come in a white as well. I quite like these kind of Birkenstock style and the one with a bow on too. So they're six pounds and six pounds. I think I've seen these before. Blue and white stripe kind of material fabric. They are... They're six pounds, but then there's those ones as well. I've seen the ones with the toe covered. And then these are quite cute-ish, aren't they? I quite like them. <gasps> oh my goodness. Look at them. Look at them. I'm having them. I'm having them. Yes. Do they have my size? They've got my size. They've got my size. They're vile, but I like them. This one's a bit squashed, but I'm having it. How much? eight pounds here's an espadrille section so they're like the chanel -y type ones they've got a pink one and a yellow one i think of those no orange orange and pink there a quick pan of these oh hello you look familiar i've got them and them but they've got an orange as well do i need orange Ooh, green loafers backless ones and then ones with backs they're eight pounds and eight pounds quite like that color actually then there's leopard ones and snake ones as well i haven't seen them in my primark i don't think in my primark i own it then there's a pointed toe sling bag i haven't seen this color there's a green and the snake they are six pounds then around here there's more loafers so there's white there's a pinky kind of color black get your loafer on uh -huh. so that's what i saw earlier but the, here is the black pair they're really nice actually i like the black i prefer it if that bit was nude but i'm liking those although the heels way too high for me but anyway they're 14 pounds so these are 12 pounds these are just like the ysl tribute sandals aren't they they are indeed they're 12 pounds yeah 12 pounds i mean really who doesn't need these serious serious bit of con action oh dear that's all I can say. But I love them. I love them. Oompa, loompa, do do. Do you want to see a bit of sexy toe cleavage? Look at that. This is my size. This is size five. Look at those sausages wedged in there. Lush. Ah, oh, well, sexy. Sexy. <laughs> Let me just check if they are my size. Yeah, they are. That's ridiculous. Look at that. That's gross. That is pure grossness right there. You eat your dinner. They actually have a Disney section of Disney merch, Disney toys, Disney Disney. I mean, I like Mickey Mouse and all that, but why? I just don't get. I just don't get it. Personally, I just don't get the whole want to wear a Mickey Mouse thing. But you know, if you're loving it, if you love a bit of Mickey. Oh, Mickey, you're so fine. You're so fine. You blow my mind. I want to go to Primark and buy all of it. It's here in this Primark. Ooh, this is nice. Now I bought a belt like this the other day that was black with a black buckle but I quite like the tan kind of tortoiseshell one as well, that's £5. Netty bag. It's like it's got too much in there and it's sagged. It's like a sagging net. Actually it looks like one of those things you have a plant in it. So what you could do is you could have it this year, this summer holiday, and then when you're bored you could put a plant in it, have it hanging up in your kitchen. Yeah. How much is that then? That's £10. I'm sure you, if you went to the garden centre you'll get a cheaper one than that. This is nice, a bit of bamboo handle. I've got um, a similar one to this with a metal handle, a black one which I really like but I like the colour of this and the bamboo. That's £10. Okay so this is the trending now wall for upstairs. More pastel -y kind of shades, more cycling shorts, some cute kind of polka dot stuff so let's have a quick pan around and see what there is they're quite nice again and i saw them downstairs i mean they're starting to repeat a lot of stuff there's only so much stuff primark can make i guess before they start repeating it that's quite nice like a mint green top quite nice a mustard not a mustard what's it called um sage a sage green wrappy top that's 10 pounds i like this bag and i've seen this one but I'm sure the pom-poms are a different colour than the one I saw. But yeah, nice kind of summery bag. Look at the flap on that. £10. Oh, I like her skirt. I like it, but I can't see it anywhere. 
I'll try and find it. This is another nice bag. They're doing really well for summer bags. Really well. That sounds patronising. Really well. Well done, you. Primark. But yeah, it's like a kind of one of that raffia material again. With a wooden handle. That's ten pounds. Oh, they are nice. Look. Look at these. Like wooden kind of. Oh, it's metal on one side, and then like a wood on the other side. It's kind of like a bit matchy matchy. Liking them for three pounds. Oh, if your plant doesn't look good in a black one, you can have a brown one instead. Just think. I think it's a thing. So this one is definitely a takeoff. Twenty pounds. It's got like the wooden beads around there as well. It's open though. It's a bit too open, really. But I like the design. Quite a pretty floaty top with floral print on it buttons and ruffles liking that there we go nice and sheer I could be I could do wearing that now because I'm getting so hot that's 12 pounds it's another pretty floaty floral number I really like this actually the sleeves are nice it's a high neck I do like a high neck and a pie neck you watched my last video it's got a bit of pie going on there so I think I might try this one on I do like it 12 pounds another nice bag so this one has like cut out pieces. It has a drawstring bag in the middle, so it's not everything's gonna flap out of that hole. That's 10 pounds. It's got a long strap as well. Nice summery one. This is a mint green blazer, like a loose fit kind of blazer. Really nice color actually. Really nice kind of spring blazer. And then there's matching trousers. Not one for me, but I can imagine that looking lovely on someone. Oh, hang on. Hang on a minute, it's going to look lovely on this model. Here we go. She looks lovely, but she does need a top on. You don't go out in your bra. Does your mum not tell you anything? Apart from that, yeah, nice. And here we have the safari wall. I think there was this wall in my Primark. It's kind of like safari colours and khaki and leaves and all that kind of thing. I'm actually in the dress section but I'm struggling to find anything different from what I've already shown you in my normal Primark. So yeah, it's nothing really that exciting to be honest. There's more kind of tops and bags. There's loads of different bags. Let's go and look at another bag. Just got one. Yeah, another cut out kind of one. Black with a zippy bag on the inside and that one is £12 or there's a long strap inside it says. I quite like this top here. It's brown, so it's my kind of colour. For some reason, these colours suit me, so I'm going to give that a go. That's £10. We have another safari wall. So we have zebra. We have cheetah. I don't know, leopard. Um, zebra again. We've got a bit of tiger there. So again, it's just all these kind of tonally, tonally brown. There's lots of browns, khakis, all that kind of colour along here. Quite like that actually. Actually, it's not as big as 
like if you compare it to the rest of the store, it's not that much bigger than my normal one. This little dish is quite nice, but no price on it though. So it's all kind of like blues and creams and golds on this section here, and like the main bit as you walk in. Nice little bit of hoodie action, candles. Yeah, it's not like massive compared to that. It goes from there round to there and over there a bit. on but the fitting room I just went to has like 30 odd cubicles in it and outside there I counted with 30 people lined up waiting to go in so uh, yeah I'm not that in love with these tops I might just buy them actually no so I don't I just want to get out now I'm going to go and have a look at the Mickey Mouse cafe see what the, that's all about if there's not a Mickey Mouse shaped biscuit I won't be happy if it's just stuck on the wall. Here we go, here we go. There she is. Primark Cafe. Kids menu to give you a bit of an idea. Let's go and have a look. Oh my god, there's a queue. There's actually a queue. So there it is. Mickey Mouse ears, the doorway. I mean, it's pretty cute. Kids would love it. But again, there's a queue to get in. I'm just going to sneak in and have a look. little play area which is pretty good if you've got kids come in here and have a little play and a watch wow they've got a full-on harry potter section look at this this is like the um the place we went to the other day the museum -y thing what do you call it studio it's better than studio i should have just come here I took the kids here it cost me 40 quid to go there i could have just taken them here and the merch is a lot cheaper look at that this whole mega section Harry Potter. That's pretty cool actually. If you're a Harry Potter fan. Right guys, I've reached my limit. That is it, I'm done. I'm done. I've got to get out. I've got to get out now. It's that feeling. It's the Primark panic feeling. I'm outside. I made it out. I don't know how I managed to get out but I did. Oh my god. I need a sugary drink. I need to lie down in a dark room. Wow. That is, we'll talk in a minute, okay? I just need to breathe, collect my thoughts. So I've come into the bookshop next door because it's like really quiet in here. I can breathe in here. There's like, there's like no one in here. Walking around, not bumping into anyone. Yeah, that was um, intense. I didn't try anything on. I didn't buy anything, I just wanted to get out. Back to my normal prime life, I think it is. But for now, I'm gonna sit in here and read a book how to de-stress after being in Primark. Oh yeah, it's here, look. Bargain. So I'm back in the car. My verdict is it's a little busy in there. Um, yeah, if you've ever been into a Primark on a Saturday afternoon in a busy town, that's what it was like on a Monday morning. When I got there about 10, half 10, it was already really, really busy. By the time I left about 12-ish, 12 12.30, 12 because yeah, I actually spent a couple of hours in there, it was just like, I can't move, I can't breathe, I just need to get out. And I heard so many people going, how do I get out? And, oh, I need to get out, that kind of thing. So, yes, is it worth it? Well, it has got everything there. You've got a lot of choice. But then you kind of a bit overwhelmed. It's like, where is everything? Oh, my God, it's just so much. And... If you're actually looking properly, you'll notice that there's a lot of duplicates as well. So they're filling out a store, like a massive store. So it doesn't, does it really have to be that big? You know, I don't know. But having said that, there's a lot of things there that I hadn't seen before. So, you know, it's kind of a toss up of can you deal with crowds? I mean, it may well die down once all the hype around the new store is gone. I doubt it because Birmingham is always so busy. I didn't get to go in the cafe. I'm a bit gutted about that. I wanted a Mickey Mouse biscuit or something. I didn't get to go in there because it was literally one in, one out. As I mentioned, the changing rooms, the one that I was going to go in had 30 people waiting to go in. This was at like, it was about half 11 in the morning on a Monday morning. Yeah, so 
everyone had massive piles of stuff because it's like if I'm queuing I'm making it worth it so it wasn't going to be a nip in and out people were like this is yeah if I'm queuing for half hour I'm going to make half an hour's worth of stuff yeah like that so yeah I, I ditched my two things that I was going to try I was like no 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 it's not worth it so would I go back probably not I wouldn't make a trip to go there I would just stick to my local Primark because that's enough. That's enough, you know? There's only so much Primark you can have. It's almost like a tourist destination. It's like, have you done Big Ben? Yeah, yeah. London Eye? Yeah. Primark in Birmingham? Yeah. You know, it was like, it, that's what it felt like. Everyone was going there for that reason, which I kind of did. But I've got a reason. I was filming it. I was researching. But yeah, I'm not going to go back unless I happen to be in Birmingham and need to nip in. You know, I wouldn't make another trip because I'm not, I just can't deal with the crowds. If you can and you don't mind, then go for it. But just bear in mind, yeah, you're going to be waiting. It'd be like going to Horton Towers on a warm day in the summer holidays. You know, you want to get on Nemesis. You're desperate to get on Nemesis and you've got the like three hour wait and it goes around an extra long bit. You know, the extra long bit of queue that goes all the way around like that. Anyway, I need to get home now, so that's it for today. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please do feel free to subscribe. I tend to do Come Shop With Me's in Primark quite a bit, maybe monthly, and other places too, and I vlog, and I do all sorts of things. So, yes, please do subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!